pavement, empty parked cars. It's the unfortunate housing situation for thousands in Omaha. People like Rosetta Judd and Ella Nunn. There are very few answers and very few places to find. Rosetta has a $400 rent budget. She says it's hard to find somewhere stable. Definitely clean, safe, drug free, weapon free, good people around me. She's currently living with a kind stranger. Before that, her car and the streets were home for almost a year. She says she applied for housing through OHA and rental assistance programs. I was kind of applying for anything that I could qualify for and um, the, yeah, the waiting lists are two plus years out. But she needs help now. Yes, yes. So does Ella Nunn. Option might be the streets. Might be out here homeless. She says she was just evicted from her apartment and has just $200, only to learn that the wait for Section 8 housing could take years. When is that waiting list going to end so, so, so they can get somebody in so we can get a chance to get on housing. So what can they do? The Omaha Housing Authority says it's still wrapping up selections from a wait list dating back to June of 2019. OHA says it's not uncommon for wait lists to take two to three years to complete and that the pandemic has amplified housing shortages. The statement goes on to say neither public housing nor housing choice vouchers are structured to be emergency response measures for those facing a housing crisis. OHA acknowledges shelters and transitional housing are also experiencing more people than ever. The Housing Authority hopes federal ARPA funds will help. That's where Omaha City Council President Pete Festerson comes in. It's a big challenge for our community and it needs to change. He says a recent Sherwood Foundation study shows there's a shortage of nearly 80,000 affordable housing units in the metro. We have uh, American Rescue Plan Act funds at the city level and intend to allocate $20 million towards this effort in coming months. And we know if we do that, we'll have $20 million matched by the private sector. He says the council will vote on funding in the next few months, which could improve current units or build new ones. Could easily address another one to 2,000 units in the short term. So more to be done for sure, but a huge opportunity to make a difference on this issue. Rosetta and Ella hope the money will make a difference sooner rather than later. I feel that nobody should have to beg for their basic needs. Festerson says the city council approved a study to provide an action plan for affordable housing. It appears that study will take about a year. Reporting in Omaha, Abby Peterson, KETV News Watch 7.